All right, Trial Mob, welcome back to another TBG feature. Today, we're going to be playing a little bit of catch up, basically going over some acid rain news, some stuff that is basically brand new from last night, some stuff that was just recently announced I realized I haven't covered, and then, of course, some few uh, releases that just basically went live. So let's go ahead and start there. So um, basically, yesterday it was announced that the Argert's Combat Medic and the next two features here um, basically came live for you to order. Usually that means that Pia Club has them ready to ship. We will probably see them filling in the gaps at Big Bad Toy Store within the next month or two. I feel like Big Bad Toy Store has been doing a bit of a better job at getting these stocked uh, a bit more quicker. It used to be two to three months before uh, BBTS would catch up with anything, but now it's happening a bit at a faster rate. So I do appreciate that. Um, so the Argert's Combat Medic was one of the one of the three that's basically come out. Pretty cool looking figure. And then of course we have here Trevor. Trevor Jones of the Vera Rescue Team. So the other one was a combat medic, um, you know, basically combat doctors. Here, these guys are more the firefighters, right? The search and rescue teams. Um, these are the guys that are going to go in there when there's, you know, buildings that fall down, rubble, stuff like that, that they have to basically go and try to find you. Um, but obviously, it's the acid rain world. This is very, very dangerous and risky stuff. So as you can tell, Trevor here looks a little banged up. I love what we're seeing in terms of some of the artwork for the combat medic. They showed a figure that they've shown us a lot of times, basically a guy with a gas mask and a mohawk. I hope we eventually see that character come to reality in this, um, in the acid rain world. And then of course, um, here, I think it's a really nice look. And of course you basically get two figures for one, right? you can buy as many Trevor Jones as you want. And as long as he has that helmet on, he's just a very rescue team member take off the helmet and now it's Trevor Jones. So I do appreciate that. And then we have the Vera engineering flea. As you can tell, these guys aren't shooting back at anybody, um, even though it shows a bunch of explosions around these guys, but they come with basically like a claw. So this is just basically, again, to help them, you know, search and rescue, go through rubble and things like that. So I do like the aesthetic overall. Um, I'm not really big on buying any kind of figure that doesn't come with a gun to shoot back. That's just how I build my army. So so I, you know, I kind of wish these guys came with at least a sidearm, like a pistol or something that would definitely make me more willing to buy them. And I know I can add it, but if it's not part of the lore, I find it very hard for me to do it. It's just one of those, those ticks that I have where if it's not, you know, uh, stock from the factory like that, I don't know if I want it. So yeah, I think that these are some cool releases. If this is something that you like, it definitely fleshes out the world of Acid Rain a lot. And these are going to be available basically at a wide release. All right. Now, this is also something that was covered. I think I covered only on the Facebook page. And in my head, I had made a video about it. So just in case if I didn't, um, the Acid Rain World, the Beset. So this right here is a camel bot that has been basically junkyarded together um, by these soil ghosts and reprogrammed to fight alongside of them. I think that's such a cool idea, if I'm being honest. They're scavengers, and of course, camel bots are getting destroyed left and right all over the acid rain world. So it would make sense that somebody that can, you know, retroactively put them back together and, you know, re reprogram them to be on a different side. I mean, I think that's really cool. And of course, it's got the soil ghost motif of just being kind of asymmetrical and different colors here and there. It's a, it's a really cool looking figure. I like this one a lot. Um, I didn't think I would like, I shouldn't even say I wouldn't think. I never thought about this at all. So to see this come to fruition like this is really cool. And of course, here we have a beautiful photo of him. As you can tell, you got that smiley face on it. That's really cool. I kind of hope that maybe as a running change, we get the same figure, but maybe with a different you know, face drawn on, maybe an angry one, maybe, you know, a tiger on it. I don't know. Just really cool little things. Of course, you can customize that yourself, but I think that it is something cool to see here. Um, but basically, I think that this is a really cool, a really cool setup. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure I covered this guy just in case if I didn't. I like the overall aesthetic and, of course, some of the, like, the claw they put on his right arm. So, again, good looking stuff. All the weapons that he comes with. I think this is going to be a must buy for me. I'm not a big fan of the soil ghost myself. I think that I've really only bought in the Doeg and, and, and Chief Corin uh, set. So 
I wasn't sure if I was going to buy anything else just because, again, I don't I don't know if I care about the rest of the Soil Ghost stuff. But this right here was definitely, as soon as I saw this, I was like, damn, <laughs> I guess I'm going to be investing a little bit more into the Soil Ghost with this guy. Um, I, I don't necessarily like the aesthetic of the Soil Ghosts, but for some reason, this one just really speaks to me. I heard that some people don't like it, um, but also a lot of people agreed that they, they thought it was a must-buy as well. So, you know, maybe a little bit of a polarizing figure, but for me, it's a must-buy. For you, if it's not, I understand. Now, before I forget, Patrick Chan made a few uh, posts about this. I'm not quite sure where um, whose who's, uh, photos these are, but shout out to Patrick for these. Um, basically, they're in-hand photos of the combat medic and the Vera rescue team. Um, and I think that um, they look pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, this is Again, this one makes me wish they came with like a rifle or a pistol or something. I could definitely see these guys on the battlefield with my guys if they had that. Ah, maybe, maybe I'll still get it, but I do like the way they look. Now, I love these in-hand photos, especially when people put them in, in like little dioramas and stuff, because ultimately, you know, this is kind of the maximum way that you can experience the figure and a lot of times just seeing them kind of in an empty case you know doesn't do much for you but seeing them right here in person in the middle of whatever their job might be is really cool but what makes these figures really cool is the fact that we have some custom heads some custom hyper realistic heads put onto them i love this so damn much i've covered it before in my customs videos i need to get back into doing those um, but i love this kind of stuff i love when you they use the acid rain figures and give them hyper realistic heads uh it just completes the look it makes this guy look really cool i really wish that he kind of came like this or that or that we could buy multiple with different heads that would also be really nice i also feel like it might be a good way for acid rain to keep the cost down right we can get the same body over and over again but just give it a different head to go with it here this is i forget his name but spider-man from the amazing spider-man series looking really good man for a 118 scale this looks incredible and again it just it just really livens up you know heightens up uh, what what these figures are and what they can be now switching over to what has recently been announced so this is the scorpion laurel LAA3s. so um i don't i don't actually understand the scorpion part of it but definitely a crazy looking laurel so this was something that was shown to us before i don't remember at what what festival or it was just a prototype that we've seen before and i've seen the photo of it grayed out but this is the first time i'm actually seeing it fully painted out with full um you know with everything that's going to go with it so it definitely looks gnarly as hell uh, you know with the with the really tall legs but it's got a bunch of guns and a lot of firepower so this is definitely one of the big guns for the argard's um sand team now, I am going to be honest real fast, so let's just go ahead and cover it. So as much as I can tell, this is basically a laurel from the waist up, basically from the, the short little legs that it normally comes with. Basically, they removed that and added these four really long... Uh, uh, I guess scorpion-like legs, right? So, and as far as I can tell, that right arm is a regular laurel arm holding the regular laurel SMG gun that they come with. Um, I, I do think it is open-faced, which is uh, definitely interesting because I don't believe we've gotten that at least in a while. So that is pretty cool looking because anybody you put in there is going to, you know, really stick out as the pilot. Um, and obviously the big guns on the top, the cannons look great. Uh, then the cannon on the left arm, I want to say it's new as well so nice there uh but i'm not gonna lie this one's a hard pass for me i i'm not big on the whole mm, i don't even know what to call this scorpion leg thing uh it's just not it visually isn't appealing to me and the whole insectoid like looking thing is just not my thing not that's not to say it doesn't look bad that's not to say that like this shot right here looks pre pretty epic yes it does but it's it's just not up my alley for me and it, it, i feel like it kind of breaks character with what the rest of the argots kind of aesthetic is i mean yes of course it's just a laurel and some tall ass legs but i i don't know i don't think this is one that i uh, need to get now, of course, just because I don't like this, you know, this might be something that you like. Um, again, it's not bad looking at all. I, I kind of am hoping that maybe we'll see this again, but with regular legs or uh, I don't know, maybe maybe just done differently. Maybe they can put them on wheels instead, make it look like the Canon Gundam or something like I think that would be something that's really nice. But for me, again, you know, 
cool aesthetic. I'm not going to lie. Cool colors. I like this colors. Um, I like the stuff that they're doing here. It'd be kind of cool if we saw a pilot that's supposed to go with this. Um, but from the solicitations, as far as I can tell, you just use any sand team that you have uh, as a pilot. So nothing special here. Now, this last photo right here, I feel like we don't normally get photos like this, but basically a size comparison that shows you how tall these guys are. Normally, these figures come up to about the ammo pouches, uh, the bottom of the belly, give or take. Um, so these guys come way below even that. So as you can tell, this is a very, very tall figure. Um, so it's going to it's gonna be very, very big in your display. So I appreciate that we actually got this from... Um, from acid rain a lot of people always want to see scale and we don't normally get scale photos like this so again i appreciate that we got that now again switching over to another camel bot this is known as the ash camel bot um i find it a little interesting because almost every single camel bot that we've gotten coincides with a specific uh, military unit right the sand troopers have their own the stealth team have their own basically every single faction has their own so i'm a little uh curious to see that we we're getting basically a second one for the sand troopers I don't mind that because I guess we have seen that before with the stealth team since they have the rev, not the revenant laurel. I forget what the name of their other camel bot is. So it's not the, it's not like it's the first time that we're getting a secondary camel bot for a main faction, but I, but I do have to wonder, right? This one is named, you know, the ash. Is there potentially an ash, you know, unit that we're going to see soon? Maybe slightly different coloring. I would definitely like to see that, but at least in the meantime, just as another camel bot for the sand troopers right um really really good looking i can already tell this is going to be a must buy for me um a lot of these action shots always look really nice um he seems to come with a lot of different guns usually you see about two different guns um, but as you can tell this guy comes heavily equipped with a bunch of stuff again definitely like that other camel bot that we got from the stealth team the the one that's uh the largest one i think i did a review on it um, this guy comes with a lot of that same stuff and then of course a lot of the other guns, but it's kind of a it's kind of a cool look It's almost like a robot wearing some shades and that's dope as hell Now of course just like all the other camel bots he can basically transform um, This isn't anything new. We've seen it before. I've always thought it's a it's a pretty interesting uh, look to it if you guys have ever played uh, Wolfenstein it's stuff like this that makes me think that acid rain would be like some of the perfect to just kind of do a rendition of a of uh, Wolfenstein but acid rain figures I think that would be if you guys are paying attention reach out to Wolfenstein or maybe I should do it for you guys and try to make the connection but I would love some Wolfenstein figures now, I'm not sure what it is about these next two photos, but these are like the money shots for me. I don't know. He just looks very realistic. Of all the figures we've gotten so far of the camel bots, a lot of them always obviously look like these big old robots, you know, whatever. But this looks like it could be a person, you know what I mean? Just it has a lot of personality. I, I, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's the shades. Maybe it's the shape of that head. You know, I, again, I like this color change that they've done a little bit. It's a very reminiscent of obviously all the sand stuff, but it's the ash. And so it's a little bit different. But yeah, I definitely like this a bunch. Now, this last photo right here is, without a doubt, the best photo that they could have taken of it. Um, I think it's the right gun on the right body in the right pose just to really show what this guy looks like. Again, you tell me. You guys are looking at this photo right now. What What is it? What is it that looks so cool about this? I can't be the only one. I know it's, you know, the orange shades. I know that it's, you know, the color scheme. But, man, there's just got to be something that I'm not saying here. But this is, I, I want not just one, but, like, probably two of these. I just really like what they did with this one. I'm, it's just right up my alley for what I want. And I do believe I mentioned it earlier, but he does have the clawed legs. So, you know, I, I love that look more than the, you know, the smaller footed uh, camel bots we've gotten before. So I'm pretty sure that also plays into it as well. All right, Trial Mom. So let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Let me know what you guys thought of the releases. Are you guys going to be buying any of the ones that are already coming out? Are you going to be buying any of the ones that we'll see in the future? Do you think the camel bots are also, you know, must buys? You know, what, what are your thoughts on the Laurel as well? I definitely want to gauge the community and whether or not Acid Rain um, did the right thing with this one. But anyways, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And I will definitely be catching you guys on the next feature. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. As I said, I am getting really close to getting an opportunity to be able to bring you guys more content. So I would definitely appreciate a follow. I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.